It's Renee with Cantor Size with Renee B. Uh, we're going to need a chair and a weight today. We're just going to do some weight bearing exercises, a little bit of uh, core work, and a lot of butt and leg work. Uh, I did work out yesterday, but I went to the, did that treadmill for 30 minutes. Not allowed to run or jog yet, so it was just a walk, but it was good and I feel good. So, anyway, let's just get warmed up here and get those shoulders warmed up. Those arms and that <coughs> blood flowing through our bodies. <coughs> this is my third day back at work today. Today's our busy day. It usually runs longer. So Monday, so Monday was my first day back, and it was a fairly easy day at work as far as workload goes. It was a pretty traditional day. I did the full eight hours. And I came home exhausted. <laughs> Let's do arm circles. And uh, so my husband made dinner for me, which was great. It also meant that since my husband made dinner for me, it wasn't super healthy. It was chili dogs, but it was okay. It's okay. I'll get there. I'll get that nutrition back on, dialed in here. Right and back. And keep those legs moving. Get that heart rate up. Get a little warmth going through our body, muscles. All right, now let's march. So the beautiful thing about marching and lifting our knees is this is a very subtle way to do sit-ups <laughs> in a way. Because you're crunching all of it. So just keep your abs tucked in and crunch, crunch, crunch. Whew. Good morning. So let's start with, we're going to do, um, move my chair back a little. So we're going to step forward and lunge. Put the weight in your one free arm. You can use the chair for balance, okay? So you're going to step forward with your foot, knee and toes lined up. Um, let's see, yeah, this will be all right. I'm going to switch it up. Hold on, here we go. Step back as up on your toe, knee comes straight down. Right? This works. Whew. You can feel it working on the top of your thigh, right? But what this beautiful workout is great for your butt and your glutes and all of your back of your hamstring there, okay? So that's a pretty good workout. You want to keep those abs tucked in and breathing. Try to get back into a healthy habit here. Working out on a regular basis, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, right? Whew, let's do two more. Two and one. Okay, now keep that weight in your hand, and we're going to do one legged squats. So, find that balance on that one foot, okay? going to work that same leg that we just had in the back and slip, lift your foot off the ground and it's just a very slight bend okay if you don't want that knee to go past your toe definitely hold on to the chair for balance and a weight as a counterbalance for a little extra resistance squat and even if you're holding on to the chair it's still a really good balance workout when you try to do balancing workouts it evens out your your brain because it's making it work along with your actual physical body so so good for you we need two more ready that's two, so you can try and sit down, and one. Okay, now we're going to do squats. Again, hold this weight, hold on to the chair, okay? And we're doing a chair squat. So seriously, it's like you're trying to sit down in a chair. All your weight is in your heels. With the chair, holding you to balance. You want to get a little bit of a deeper squat. Knee goes back, back. Yeah. <laughs> 
want you to um, whew, hold on to that chair and we're going to do a side lift so we're working this outer part of our hip okay it's like such it's like you're standing on stays slightly bent abs are in hips are pointing forward Five more, ready? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, okay, now middle weight in the middle, elbows out, and keep your feet and hips forward planted, and we're just gonna twist, okay? Working our obliques. Still really sore. I wore a skirt yesterday, but I think the band on the skirt was too tight. <laughs> I've become that woman who wears leggings like their pants. It's all good. I have an excuse. Only for a little while though. So keep this weight in the center. Don't move those arms. I really want you to twist that waist, okay? Twist, twist. Let's do a couple more. Feeling this like crazy. One more. Okay, that's good. All right. Now put that weight down or grab another one if you got it. We should have done that. But I just want to do a couple of bends. Again, sliding down the sides. Again, working these obliques. And we're going to move the chair over to the other side and balance out the other side of our body, hips, legs, okay? Yeah. We have one four weeks here. Friday will be four weeks from my surgery, which means in two more weeks I'll be able to start jogging again. So hopefully I'll be able to keep up some really good habits and hit that gym at least three times a week. That's my goal, at least three times a week. Okay, let's switch this out. Grabbing that weight and doing everything the opposite. So stepping forward with that leg, that foot, Back foot is on its toes and that knee comes down. Straight down like you're trying to touch the floor. Much easier when you have this chair to hold on, right? Giving you a little bit of a deeper squat, lunge, whatever you want to call it. Abs are in and you're breathing. Here we go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now, let's see. What do we? Oh yeah. Got a squat. One legged squat. Ready? Find that balance. Everything. All your weights and your heels. Ooh, my knee is really making some crunching noises. <laughs> I gotta go wave my knees weak on this side. Try to go down slower and not quite as deep. Okay, two more here, ready? This is for two. And one. All right, let go of that chair. We go into a sumo squat. Weights in the middle. Toes and knees pointing out the same way. Straight up and down. Butt does not go back now. It goes straight up and down.
and we're ready. Here we go. Ready? This is five. Four. Three. Two. One. Alright. Now we're going to do that uh, lifting, working that outer part of our hip. Done, you guys. Done. One more. All right, we're gonna do one more thing here. Grab your weight up here, okay? And then you're gonna go straight out. Lock those knees. Make sure you're breathing. We're just gonna do a little bit of light arm work out here. I'm struggling getting my breath today. I don't know if you've noticed that or not. Five more. Here we go. Ready? This is five, four, three, two, one. All right. Put that weight down. Let's just stretch everything back out. Hold on to that chair. When you do this, no matter if you do it with the chair or not, knees need to be together facing forward. Okay? So important. If you're out here, you're pulling things you shouldn't be pulling. Keep it tucked in. side. Shoulders a little bit. All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. Make sure you share the website. Um, I have a, if you go to cancersize.com, I have a website that I try to do a monthly newsletter on. Um, you know, share this page with your friends, work out with me, even if you don't have cancer, but if you have any type of, uh, struggle with surgery or injuries or whatever, you know, we should, you should be able to work out with me because we have much smaller modified workouts, just 10 minutes a day. It's good for you. Um, make sure you're talking to your doctor and you have permission to work out what the workouts we're doing. Some people may not be really easy to do this yet. Uh, listen to your body because that will be the best indicator of what you can and cannot do, but don't be afraid to push yourself a little bit. Hydrate with lots and lots of water. And most importantly, I want you to remember that you are stronger. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.